foundation stone was laid in 1971. The museum uh, is a brainchild of Dr. Randhawa. This museum displays and preserves the older history of Punjab, how the life was lived, what were the traditions. So they have many objects, the utensils, the stuff used in kitchenware, from those uh, grinding stones to even the agriculture objects and there are mu uh, musical instruments. And all these uh, objects have been uh, gathered from various old havelis of Punjab. Now, this museum is a unique in itself. You might be remembering that due to green revolution, there is a big change in the social life. The living styles of the people are completely been changed. And at that time, our Vice Chancellor was Dr. M. S. Randhava. Although he was an ICS officer, yet he has a long association with the Punjabi culture. And he did his best to preserve Punjabi culture. So he thought that this change is so quick that within few years there will absolutely be change in the living styles of the people. So he thought that we should preserve that. So then he decided to have a museum in this type of house. Then was how from where to collect material for the house. Uh, we have not used any artificial doors. Or these all doors or windows are original. So Dr. Randhawa and his team visited various old sites as very old city, Rahu, Jejong, Kartarpur. From there, from the old houses, we collected these doors, windows and other material which at that time being used, the utensils, beds, living styles, kitchen, everything. How did they find the whole experience? So tell me, Isa. Um, I found it very interesting because I'm not used to like Punjab culture or anything like that. So it's very eye-opening because um, I'm not really used to this type of uh, style of like, like infrastructure and culture and like things so similar like the butter churning. I found it very interesting. Thank you. And Raiden, what about you? Yes, it was very insightful. I love learning about the Punjab architecture and the influences from other cultures. It was very insightful also learning about the different grains and how they're like milled and produced into different flowers. I really like that. But yeah, overall, I really enjoyed it, the museum. What has been mm -hmm. your takeaway? Were yeah. you able to understand about the Punjabi life and Punjabi mm -hmm. culture? What, do you, what, what have you understood? I like to see how like the old cooking like instruments and like you know just how like the old cooking how it influenced like today and like how similar it is but you know i like that similar as in what way so like the ladles and the different utensils like the different like furnaces how it like influenced today and like the like, modern day cooking how like i like to see how it evolved over time So I often accompanied Dr. M. S. Randhava during his evening walks. He used to interact with the students. In one of his walks, when he interacted with the girls of the Palm Science College, he knew that... He asked him, 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 he Glass which can the Haji cut to the glass, which can the Kangani Wala glass to Piti, but they did not know what is Kangani Wala glass. From that day, he said, okay, they are ignorant about even uh, normal domestic gadgets and the utensils which were in use in village houses, then even in the At the same time, he was of the view that the agricultural education, uh, which is based on research and science, so cannot be considered complete until and unless the students are made aware about the cultural heritage and the local crafts and the way of life and the traditional methods of the 
agriculture. He thought of setting up this museum. In the year 1970, when he visited this uh, uh, open museum at Copenhagen, so that gave him inspiration and impetus, and he was quite impatient to set up this museum in the PAU. He sent me to Ahmedabad to study the collection of such artifacts by his friend Gautam Saravai, who is the brother of Vikram Saravai. So after that, then it was thought that what sort of building it should be. It was thought that the building itself should be an exhibit and it should uh, uh, give a glimpse of the old Havelis. Uh, our uh, well to do farmers were not living in kacha houses at that time. So we visited those along with the team of engineers, photographer and store purchase officer. It was inaugurated by Sardar Khushwan Singh, the celebrated author on 26th of April 1974. Once uh, Khushwan Singh wrote that if uh, someone asked me that during the last 50 years, in those days, 50 years back, so Punjab should be most grateful to whom? He said certainly it should be Dr. Emesar al -Dhawa.